okay so we are continuing with part b of test one and this is question a what make the pic 18 different from a general purpose microprocessor now we have seen the, uh, the definition of what is a microprocessor and what is a microcontroller as you can see here microprocessor is a processor implemented on a very large scale integration chip so it is only consists of the processor only so it, it uh, compared to microcontroller it is actually a computer implemented on a single very large scale integration VLSI chip so we have seen this diagram that um, this is actually the diagram the computer hardware organization so what you can see uh, a general purpose microprocessor is only this portion this which is only this portion of the as you can see the, mic the processor this is a general purpose microprocessor whereas a uh, microcontroller is actually a whole computer architecture consists of uh, CPU memory input output and input unit so that is actually uh, the difference so you should know, uh, we know that PIC 18 is actually this is a micro controller so which means controller okay which means it has CPU it has memory it has input and it also has output so when these four basic modules are there these are the four basic modules requirement for a computer system so which means PIC 18 is uh, PIC 18 is a micro computer on a single VLSI chip whereas the microprocessor this microprocessor is only consists of the CPU and we have seen that the CPU has ALU more, uh, register uh, ALU component we have uh, the registers the CPU registers and we have the control unit so this we have seen before so a general purpose uh, microprocessor so a microprocessor is a processor is only a processor implemented implemented on a single LSI chip so which means microprocessor only consists of this portion so in order for it to operate the microprocessor needs the peripheral uh, functions it needs the memory it needs the input and it's the output so in order for it to operate it requires peripheral uh, uh, modules this is uh, question B of part B what is the purpose of general purpose registers GPR and special function registers as a far in the PIC 18 CPU give one example each for GPR and SFR so let's start first with GPR so GPR the function of GPR is to hold dynamic data so which means you can use it to hold any data for your computation or for whatever purposes so what are the examples uh, what are the examples for GPR so you can give any 
uh, example of, uh, of address like for example hex 10 this uh, this uh, um, two digit hex address refers to access bank I also could write like this hex maybe 320 so all these addresses are referring to the general purpose registers in data memory so how what about SFR now from the name itself we know that they are special they have special functions and what is the main purpose of it is actually to control the peripheral functions or the uh, example of uh, such uh, special function registers we have seen the working register we have seen bank select registers we have seen uh, file select register so these are some examples of uh, special function register so this is question c of part b here there uh, there are two questions actually uh, the f there's two part to this question first part is explain why the pic 18 uh, is div uh, has divided the data registers into banks so why is, is the data memory divided into banks so let us answer the first question first now in order for us to uh, find the answer we have to refer to the instruction set because that's where the answer is so as you can see uh, we t we're taking one example of uh, byte oriented instruction format and you can see that the byte oriented instruction format only allows 8 bit file register address this f refers to the 8 bit file register address and with 8 bit file register address you can only access uh, 256 locations so you know 2 by the power of 8 you can only access 256 locations now this is because the instruction format uh, only allows 8 bit file register address so therefore uh, that limitation forces the bank uh, forces the data memory to be to be divided into groups of 256 so every bank has a capacity of 256 so that actually uh, is answering for the first part so why is it divided into the bank so let me just write the answer now it is because the instruction format only allows 8 bit file register address uh, but we know that uh, we know that uh, the the data memory address is actually 12 bits so this limitation this 8 bit limitation it actually forces forces the data memory to be divided into banks so we have seen in class uh, our data memory capacity is 4096 so if every bank is 256 we will have 16 banks now this is by default this this is additional information so what you need to answer is only the blue part uh, the first part the instruction format only allows 8 bit file register address and this limitation forces the data memory to be divided into banks so that's the only thing you need to write for the answer for the first part now the second uh, part of the question show your calculation to to determine how many banks required for a PIC device with the capacity of 1000 of 1536 bytes of data memory so that is quite uh, relatively simple 
if the total capacity is 1536 bytes if we want to find out how many banks we know that the um, the instruction only allows 8 bit file register address so therefore one bank has a capacity of 256 so when we divide we will get six banks so this is the first answer and this will be the second one this is a uh, question D of part B so uh, indirect addressing mode in PIC 18 is using a special function register named SFR explain the function of FSR register and why it can store 12-bit binary numbers so there are two part to this question first one you need to explain the function and the second one why it can store 12-bit binary numbers so to answer the first one the what is the function of FSR so FSR is used to point remember that in class we mentioned that FSR acts as a pointer to point to the address at data memory so that this is to answer the first one so the keyword here is as a pointer to the address at data memory so these are the three key points the second one to, to answer the second uh, part of the question why you can store 12 bit binary numbers um, uh, because because our data memory has 12 bit binary address therefore the FSR should also be able to store 12 bit binary numbers so that it can address all point to the entire data memory space which is uh, 4,006 bytes this is question E of part B um, explain the function of microcontroller to make traffic light control as a smart system now this is an open-ended question so that you can choose any answer which is can be relevant so the main point here is the function of microcontroller so how we can use microcontroller to make the traffic light as a smart system one is you can use the microcontroller to control the sequence sequences of the traffic light traffic lights second uh, you can use it uh, to control the time delay
for each light sequence and the third one because this is six marks maybe you can give three points you can get two each mm, the third one you can uh, uh, you can uh, incorporate microcontroller with sensors sensors to detect vehicles at priority roads so if there's more com car coming in one in in one lane of the road then it can the microcontroller can choose to um, control the light sequence so that the priority roads uh, traffic will be cleared so these are three but not limited to three you can answer more but there are, this is just example of uh,